Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are working on stuff, getting the space science packs. We have our rocket. It is done. Hooray. So uh, we just need to put in the satellite so that we can get stuff going. And that is at 79% completion right now, but it is getting ever closer since we have sped up science. We are getting more materials in and life is kind of working pretty well right now. So um, I guess what I should have done with things like the modules is put the module factories after the science so that it could get uh, the very little bits that uh, kind of trickle down to the end. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. We are doing pretty well here. I guess I could like reuse some of these ones that are on the line here. Might as well uh, just get those going. But yeah, this is pretty exciting. Pretty darn exciting. Let's see. It's just these right there, right? Okay, yeah, because we're getting the blue stuff, right? Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, we are short on green chips a lot, which is not ideal. Not making me very happy there with the green shortage. Green chip shortage. Let's see what we can do. Is there anything we can do about that situation? Let's see. What do we have at the end of this bus? We have full lanes of copper. I feel like we could be adding, actually, we could add the second lane of copper to the top line there. I think that would work really well. Just like pipe it in completely. Next time, and we're going to do this on entry level to Mecha Base, we're just going to have the copper uh, and iron for the green circuits off the bus entirely. So there's no, no question where this stuff goes. That is what I would like to do next. So this goes there, actually. We'll just put this one here. But yeah, we need to get another one of these over here. Let's copy and paste those. We can just remove that one. Okay, very good. Uh, all right, so let's get this one going on here. And then we'll find where this splitter is. Yep, and we were are just going to... Kind of put it there-ish, approximately. There we go. Better. And we'll shove everything to the left so that we can keep on making stuff because it, it's more than enough. This iron line is definitely more than enough to supply a little bit more here on the green circuit side. It does look like some of this is trailing, trickling down right now. Okay. Okay, that's better, but is that enough to keep the rest of the factory running, I guess, is a question, really. Looks like it. It's still backing up. We're not using as much as I thought we would. I thought we'd be using a lot more for the, uh, like, low-density structures and stuff like that. But, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's okay. It's good. It is working. Things are working very, very well right now. And these chips are even in a better position right here because none of them go to blue circuits either. So, but we are really struggling on the greens here. But at least we're not struggling too much on the reds. That's a welcome change. Let's see, is there anything that we can recycle in here? Looks like there's some copper or some stone. Stone. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's fix some of those situations here. Maybe we can get in a box or two. Uh, for when the time, like here, when it gets sparse. Let's get the copper ore 250. Okay. And let's see, is it in a zone? It is. Let me just put a those kind of inserter there. We'll put another one maybe up here. And then we'll get one also for stone. Maybe we need to have just a an inserter somewhere. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work that way. Um, we could just do a fast inserter into one of these, and that should do a little bit of recycling. It'll take a while, but it'll do something. Let's see. Get stone. Sure. 
And that'll work quite nicely. Maybe. We hope. And for the iron ore, let's go ahead and also do something quite similar here. Put uh, this one here. Nope, whoop, wrong one. Wrong chest. Iron ore, please. There we go. And then coal. I guess coal could be over here because we are already seeing issues with the coal here. Um, you, there are other ways in, besides direct insertion, like you could put it through a splitter, but I'm being lazy right now with that. So we're just going to do it this way. Logistics request. Coal, please. 250. Yep. And what we can do is because this thing only goes to a burnable place, I'm going to put in a splitter here and we're going to put in wood. We're going to put in the wood that we have uh, because we're not really using it otherwise. So get a power pole here and then box to request the wood and we're just going to burn the wood basically. Yep, sure, 100 wood should be fine. And then we're going to uh, input priority from the right. Okay, so that should get some wood on these lines. It's very important not to contaminate your main coal belt, especially the one that goes to plastic. But this one stops and it gets, it all gets burned on this line. So that's very specific. You want to be very clear on what you're doing here and pay attention to what you're doing. So what do we got? 98% time to go down there and change the recipe of the satellite maker. This might be the last episode of the series. I'm feeling it. How about you? I hope so. Because I want you to see that rocket launch and then we can finish this series and go to making a mega base. That's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be really exciting. Definitely. Okay. 99%. Let's go, 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 go thingy. Finished. Hooray. Okay. Satellite. Let's go. All right. It's making stuff. It's putting stuff in. Do we want to do new tech? I guess we could. We could do like personal roboport maybe. Uh, where is that? Could do logistics three. Insert a capacity is always great. Um... Worker robot speed is even better. <laughs> Definitely. We didn't get to doing nuclear at all, which is kind of sad, but... You know what? I bet we already have the uh, roboports and we never picked them up. I bet that's what happened. Dang it. Well, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, worker robot cargo size as well as great stuff. Okay. So what I usually choose on the rocket is auto launch with cargo. Now... We're going to put a satellite in here, and I know it looks funny. Oh, hold on. We need rocket fuel, too. There we go. Um, okay, and we need more stuff. Yeah, we definitely need more, more things delivered here. Okay, we don't need those delivered, that's for sure. But we need the solar panels and stuff. They need quite a few, a hundred of each. See, can I give him anything? A few things. Okay, that's good. I gave him some stuff. Don't give him all my radars. We don't need that many. We don't need that many thingies. Okay, it's still working on the thingies and the stuffs. Getting the blue chips. Mostly needing to get those uh, precious solar panels. Let's see where those are coming from. Oh, they're, they are coming. They're definitely coming. I think they're coming from the mall where we put in, yeah, we put in some boxes here. So they have a lot of, of panels in the boxes themselves. So that's really good. Kind of what we were expecting. Very good. Very good. Okay. We're getting there. We're, we don't have that many, but we get, we're getting there. Oh, it's slow. Oh, it's slow. Okay. Let's do worker robot speed first, and then we'll do insert capacity. <laughs> Do we have more speed? We do have more speed. Let's just start that research and then that one. Um, and yeah, cargo size is also quite important. So we'll get that one as well. And then we'll take our capacity bonus and then we'll get automation three. Yeah, because now we're just waiting on bots to deliver all of these uh, different components here.
Okay, there we go. We have 40 and 44 of the solar panels and accumulators. Okay. Come on, thing. I guess I could turn the auto launch off. But um, what we could do is do a fun thing. Let's do a fun thing. We're going to do a fun thing right now. And we're going to get this powered. Okay. And then we're going to connect it up. We're going to make a chasing light show. And we're going to control it with, we need belts actually. We need, or we'll just copy some of this belt. Um, usually I like to do a little tiny circle like this. And then we can, uh, we're going to do a chasing light show every four thingies, right? So we're just going to copy this, copy, 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 and then we ran out. So then the next one, uh, we're going to go to the second one. It's now getting a bit interesting. Okay. Then we go to the third one. Okay. Try to just see where you're going. And then that's it. I think that's it actually. So one, two, three, four. Oh, actually it's three, isn't it? Oh, we messed it up. We messed it up. No. All right. Let's just take them all off. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try it again. Cause I did the dumb. All right. There we go. We need to skip three, not skip two. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now copy this bit over and again. There you go. There you go. And that's it. So we'll copy this whole thing. That's easier. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay. And then I think we'll skip the last two there. We can extend that one there. So what we're going to do, so they're chained in groups of four. So what we want to do is get each of these groups hooked up one, two, hook them up in order, by the way, you kind of need to do that. And what you're going to do is do uh, read belt contents and not enable disable. Okay. And we're going to paste that over there and we're going to do hold. And what we're going to do on the lights is we're going to say if a uh, train locomotive, where is it? If train locomotive is greater than zero, then do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, why brain? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. If train locomotive greater than zero. Okay, so I meant to copy and paste, not right click and delete. That was dumb. Aye. Okay, and then guess what? We put a train locomotive on this belt. Woohoo! Chasing lights. And what you can do is an entire array going around this thing if you want to. But I thought it would look fairly festive if we did it this way. And it also helps use some of our time as well. So. I don't know what it ends on one. I guess it ends on, on the four, doesn't it? Cause we could, is it, does that work if we do this? Let's see. We need to just put a little bit of, um, so the second one we need to, so this is, one, two, three, four. Wait, right? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. This one is one, two, three, and four. Okay. There we go. Yay! Now we have more chasing lights. It's exciting! All while waiting for, <laughs> for solar panels and stuff. God, come on, thing. Hurry up. Build the accumulators. Let's go. Let's go. Did they ever build that battery array? The bots? Yeah, they did. They did. And it's backed up like crazy. It is backed up. What I should do, though, is we should uh, approximate the middle here. Just do this. 
that, that, and that, so it fills both sides of the belt. Um, but are we doing well? We are still at 75. Are we not getting stuff here? What's what's the holdup? Why are they so mismatched? Yeah, they're missing something. Something is weird here. <gasps> oh no! No, 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 no. We, we have starved them for stuff and things. Oh no! This is bad. Is there another belt? Is there another bot coming with a belt? Come on, bot, save the day! Get the belt! Also, we need to save the day here. I forgot to look and make sure that everything was working correctly here. That's not good. It's not good! Come on, bots, fix! Fix! Why does it take so long for them to get this belt and fix it? Come on! It's right there! I don't have all the bots. Like, we have... Every construction bot but one available. Every single one. And still it doesn't get delivered. Game. Why? Why you do? This is not good. Well, at least this is getting filled in, I guess. That's a good thing, but still. These poor biters are completely boxed in. <laughs> That's rough, man. That's rough. Okay, are they fixing this area? Please... Do I actually have to go up there and fix this? They're still not building it. What the heck is this game? I don't understand this. I don't want to miss the rocket launch. That's why I'm so frustrated about this. It's like, what is going on here? Dang. This is just kind of dumb. The way these bots are responding. This is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. I can't believe I, I am going up here to fix the thing. They still have not done it. They still haven't put stuff in place. That is ridiculous. Oh, man. All right. Well, they're working at least. That's good. They are working. So that is helpful. Did we ever get any modules? Apparently not. I wonder if they went on the train... Because I'm pretty sure that that's where they are likely being stored. That was a bad sentence. Pretty sure where likely. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Bad language. Nine, nine, I do not. Do not. Very, very bad language there. Could build another portion of this. Like there. And then connect this one as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, there we go. Chasing lights. And it is a bird thing. I guess this will be part of the blueprint, won't it? <laughs> okay, let's fix the blueprint now. Let's go. Uh, all right, so let's do science... This is Space Lab Parts. Let's grab the new blueprint, which is like this. Do we have all of the... I think we do. I guess I could put a... I could put one sign in here. One, one thingy here. This will be the rocket fuel. I was just thinking about that. Okay, very nice, very nice. How close are we? 87, okay. Still time to grab the blueprint. Oopsies. Science, rocket parts, and stuff and things, new contents. Okay, so now you get chasing lights because we, were, we needed it. <laughs> Save, okay, so that will be in the new blueprint that I will, new blueprint book that will be uploaded um yeah after well today and today is several days before you actually see this happening so yarp yeah everything is backed up we're just waiting for this stupid satellite to complete there it goes there it goes there it goes satellite incoming oh here it comes here it comes rocket received it's going 
It's going. Are you ready for it? Let's go. Woohoo! All right. Let's go. Run with the rocket. Hey, hey, hey. It's going to outpace us because it's going to space. Boom. We won. Sort of. We, we, we earned the right to continue. That's what we did. We killed many things, including our true enemies, which are the trees confirmed by the devs. We killed some small biters, big biters. We killed some transport belts. <laughs> medium biters, small spitters, medium stuff, and all the things and stuff. We even killed an iron chest. We even killed ourselves once. Uh, but that's not right. Huh. I wonder, I wonder how they determine that. Because I know my character died several times. More than, more than once. Like twice or three times, maybe. So I'm not sure how that happened. Unless it was... I don't think we got killed via train. We just got killed via biter. Oh, no. Did we kill ourselves with the grenades? No, I think we just hurt ourselves. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how it happened. Anyway, we earned the right to continue. So what do you do when you continue? Well, there's a whole branch of science here. Uh, like here, artillery shell shooting speed that takes space science. Because what we've just gotten now in the rocket launcher is we have a bunch of space science that needs to be output to a chest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that into a red chest. Actually, I'll go ahead and redo the blueprint because... <laughs> See, this is what happens when you try to add stuff to blueprints. It just, you have to keep on refining and refining and refining. Kind of never ends. Just kind of never ends. Okay, save. All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we now have things and stuff. We now have stuff and things. And we have a beautiful light show. But people, what they usually do, it's a personal challenge usually to go beyond and get like, say, a thousand science per minute, which is quite a lot, as you can imagine. If we look at our production graph, we are, we are making 55 per minute. Just imagine that as a thousand per minute. That's much. <laughs> That's, that's a lot of science. Um, we The most science we're making is 90 a minute. 90 red science a minute. So think of that being blown up more than 10 times. More than 10 times this size. And to do that, you need a lot of modules. You need beacons. So there's a whole end game of like... Uh, it, and I, I describe it as a logistics end game. You, you need to, to figure out how to move masses of materials, much more than we have currently been doing, and getting, uh, you know, bases set up with, you know, bot bases usually, or belted bases that are very efficient, and, you know, are tuned exactly to the speed of the belt, that kind of thing, and with the amount of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, also we need to check car science. Because I don't know if the, the white science is going somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff that you can do at endgame, uh, which mostly involves making bigger and bigger arrays. And oh yeah, it's just bots. It's just boxes, of course it is. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting. It's a different problem. You have different problems at endgame. Uh, which is why I tell people it's not just building more, it's also figuring out how to get the more there, you know, and trying to get it to work and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's an interesting problem, and it's kind of fun. It's pretty fun. So I, uh, well, the only thing that's not fun for me is that there's a lot of mining that has to happen. Like, you set up many mining outposts. But that isn't necessarily a problem because once you get the Spider-Tron, the Spider-Tron can actually go out and if you lay down the railroad tracks, he could lay down railroad tracks just going down south here and all the way to the right to get this uranium, for example. Um, they could even kill these biter nests over here. Uh, though I don't really recommend it if it's like a building spider tron <laughs> or this coal. And then, uh, so basically all you have to do is run the railroad tracks. You can build from space. It's, you know, build from goddess mode, M for goddess mode. And uh, they can build the, um, all of 
the different outposts without you ever having to leave the base. It's kind of handy. So anyway, that's what end game looks like in this game. That's why you need space science. If you need fish, like if you've run out of lakes or for whatever reason, if you need fish, you can send up, um, what do you send up actually? Oh, you send up white science. If you send up white science, you get fish for it. Uh, so you have to have the white science and then you, you get the fish for it, which is interesting. Wait, do these things not hold white science? Hello? Uh, you do, but for whatever reason. Oh, those are dropped on the ground. That's why. Okay. No worries. It's okay to have them dropped on the ground. Just the first couple. But, um, so that's, that's what you kind of do at end game. Uh, of course you can post pictures of your bases. I highly encourage you to post images of your base. If you've followed along and, and, uh, started and, and gotten to the end of the game, please post a picture in our discord. Uh, also, if you have any questions, we're always there to help. Uh, some people have a lot of trouble with trains. Other people have other problems with other things. Just come on over where you're very, very welcome. We have a great community and, you know how I am in the comments. I'm like calling people on their BS. If they ain't acting right, I'm just like, nope. Uh, and our community is very safe. It's very comfortable and very cozy and nice. It's really nice. So I highly encourage you to uh, to come on out and, and say hi and, and enjoy yourself there. Uh, because we really have a great set of folks and, and it's very nice. So also, if you have enjoyed this series, uh, I encourage you to become a patron of the channel if you would like to. Um, that that really helps me, you know, make a living at what I'm doing, which is, you know, YouTube is my full time job. And I really appreciate all the support I have from everybody. So thank you so very much for that. Um, with that said, thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, we're going to have a new series called Entry Level to Mega Base 5, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in that one because we will be building a mega base going far beyond this base. Um, Switch users, I hope you're enjoying the game on the Switch. I hope it's it's really fun. I, I got too used to the PC controls, so I don't really want to use the controller because it's a lot slower for me, but... Uh, people have told me that once you get used to the controls on the, on the switch, it's no problem at all to play. So I hope you're having a great time and, uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.